Today we're going to be uh, doing a decal replacement. You can see this one is pretty bad, uh, where it has melted and it's like a soft material here. But over time it breaks down and it just takes a hot day in the hot metal and it gets something like this. Uh, usually they get cloudy or fady. And uh, it, anyway, this is a, a good time to replace this. It's a pretty easy job. I'm going to be replacing it with a genuine GM part. Right? You can see it's uh, same same exact thing here. It's uh, same for 1999 through 2007. It's a part number 1506136. You'll need one for each side. Uh, the one on the other side isn't this bad, uh, but it's just all clay, cloudy, and uh, I'm going to replace them both today. So let me show you what i typically done. I've done this on some other trucks. I take a little bit of this uh, blue painter's tape from Scotch, and what I'm going to do with this is I, I try to do this so that I can get a rough idea of the placement from the factory. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this tape right along the top edge, and I'm going to run a piece right along the leading edge. And I'm going to run a small piece around the trailing edge. Again, what I'm, what I'm mostly after is just to get the rough placement to be exactly where it was from the factory. So the trick with this is you're gonna, we're going to heat it up, and it's probably going to melt some more. Right now it's pretty firm. It's about... Uh, Right now, where I'm at, it's about 57 degrees, so it's not that cold out. And when we heat this up, it's probably going to run some more. And then as we heat it up, though, what we're going to do is we're going to take a plastic, because we don't want to damage the uh, paint, and we're going to get underneath this and start prizing it up. So you could probably use a hair dryer. I'm going to use a heat gun, and I'm going to set it on a fairly low setting to start. just want something that's around... Uh, this guy's sitting at around 350 degrees. And we're just going to heat it up. And basically the reason we're heating it up is to get the adhesive soft. So, you know, as it kind of bubbles up here, I'm going to back off a little bit. I definitely don't want to bubble it up and damage it. But see, it's getting all soft now. So where it has melted, it's coming up. Now, as I come in on the side here, I can get this to lift off, you see? And this little, um, you know, again, you don't kind of hold this on consistently, it'll get too hot. Just kind of, when it starts to get stiff, you kind of give it a little bit of a heat, you can make it melt, give it a heat. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to peel this off until we can get the tool underneath it. Again, this is low, low temp. We don't want to damage the paint. We don't want to damage the tool. The tool is plastic as well. Now at this stage, I'm hoping that I can just get peel it off, just like that. And that is how easy it is to remove it. Okay, so let's see that's basically what we got there. I'm going to do a little bit on these residual pieces. Part. All right, we're done with the heat part. Now I'm going to try to get the rest of this material off. What I usually start with, a lot of different things you can use. I use this G, uh, GM product, tar and road oil remover. All this really is, I can remember on the back here. Um, it's like xylene. It's almost like a paint thinner kind of thing, but you gotta be careful what you use because you don't want to damage the paint. And I know since it's from GM, this won't do that. So, so the first thing I'm gonna use is this material. I'm gonna use this to try and clean up some of the residual adhesive around my tape. So you can see it's removing the outline of the decal. That's what I want, this material here, the residual. And then it should also help me get what's left of this plastic off. Because it will break it down. There we go. It's coming right off. Gotta put some elbow grease into it for sure. A little bit of fingernail on the side won't, won't hurt either. You just kind of keep working this down. I'm using a shop rag. I want something with a little bit of abrasion to it. Just be careful that you don't get your marking tape off. It's holding the position of where you're going to want to put the new label. 
All right, almost done. We got a little bit down here still. If I can't get this off um, with this, I have a couple other different chemicals I'll try. Um, one I'm going to try here because I've never had one melt this badly. Normally at this point I'm done, ready to put the new one on. But this one has uh, broken down so badly I might try Goo Gone or something like that if you get one that's even worse than this one. It looks like this uh, road and tar remover though is doing the job. I'm just taking a little longer than I had hoped. So I'm going to keep working this spot here. I don't necessarily want to bore you guys with the filming this entire piece. Let me keep working on this and I'll come back as soon as I get this last piece off and we'll continue the prep and installing the new decal. We got that last bit of residual off and again all I'm using is that uh, road and tar remover and I'm using my fingernail. I'm just trying to see if I feel anything else here and I don't. So you can see we still have a little bit of the outline of where this decal sat for the last 20 years. It's just an inevitable to a certain extent, but you can kind of see the outline of where it is. And what we're seeing now is, uh, you're not going to be able to get this off because what you're seeing now is a slight variance in the clear coat of the original finish being a little bit faded here versus protected under the decal. Right, this is the original sheen of, of the paint and the, and, the, and the transparency of the clear coat. And here, what we're seeing around here is a little bit of 20 years of fading. This is the uh, original paint. This particular vehicle is a Chevrolet Suburban from 99. And so it's got the metal green paint with the clear coat on top. All right, so the next thing I do after this, so this material here would interfere with the adhesive. The next thing I'm gonna apply with another rag is uh, some 91% isopropyl alcohol. This is some stuff from CVS. You know, this kind of high, or excuse me, it's kind of low water content alcohol is what I usually use to clean electronics and things like that, but it's also pretty good to get the remainder of this material that we used to remove the adhesive. So basically we're just looking to get all of this off of here. Any kind of, you want to hear that squeaky sound? That's what you want to hear. That squeaky sound indicates that we got this guy squeaky clean. more swipes with the alcohol until I feel satisfied that there's nothing that's going to cause the new decal not to adhere properly. Okay. Well, preparation on these things is 90% of the job. So I'm just going to take a clean cloth at this point and I'm just feeling for any imperfections, anything I might have missed. And, and then also at the same time I'm just trying to dry up any residual alcohol from what I just did. All right, so now let's apply the new one. So it's fairly simple to install. Kind of um, move the plastic around because sometimes the plastic will stick to the decal. So I kind of just move it around to break that kind of a seal. And then you want to be careful not to bend this because it's, it's a metallic background. So if you bend it, it's probably not going to stick real well. So you try to come up over here where you're not going to damage the actual decal, open it up, take it out, and it's going to be on a, you know, just like any other kind of a sticker, it's going to have like one of these kind of black back, it's going to be clear backgrounds. So again, I'm just going to do one more pass here, because remember, I'm trying to get another 20 years out of this. And then I'm going to peel this guy off, and gosh, don't drop it, because you get any debris on the back side of it, and it's going to be shot. And then you're just going to come in here and use your tape to help guide you, which is why we put it there. And just kind of get this guy into position, kind of lightly tack him in. And if he looks good, then just start working on one end, rubbing up and down, moving to the other end. Kind of like what you'd have to go through if you were putting a screen protector on a phone. Something like that, you're just trying to work the air bubbles out. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take these pieces of tape out of the way because we don't need them anymore. And there's our new decal. A little bit of uh, fuzz and stuff that's stuck on here, but that'll eventually go off with a little bit of weathering. And that job is done. It looks brand new again. So I hope this helps you out. It's a very simple job. 
and I definitely recommend genuine GM parts for this because the cheapo clones and the copies over in Asia, they end up being made of inferior components. This will end up getting fungus underneath or all getting cloudy on the front within just a couple of years from if you go read the Amazon reviews or the eBay reviews. So go genuine GM. Something like this wouldn't cost you more than 15 bucks, shipping included from what I've seen. I hope this helps you out. If you're having trouble, you got some questions, go ahead and comment in the video. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.